Um, what I'm going to be doing today is I need eyes up here, and we're going to be talking about Dream Over Chapter 5. Um, again, I wanted you to wait to publish Chapter 4 until today, so that's why I asked you to publish Chapter 4 now. I went through and copied the Assignment Submit folder, so if you have Chapter 4 done and you want me to grade it, what do you need to do? Put the date on that, uh, that sheet so I know that you're ready for me to grade it, okay? If you're not done with Chapter 4, don't worry about it at that point. Um, I need to start Chapter 5. What um, to you will have some work time, so I'm going to teach a little bit and then you'll have work time again. Uh, the reason that I'm going ahead and not saying, okay, we're not all done, I'm going to give you more work time is, I need to get through Dream Weaver 5 because that's the last chapter in our book. Um, and this is going to talk about different ways to do navigation. Um, as of right now, the only way that we've done nag navigation, it's a new word for you today, I'll use that in a sentence. I know. <laughs> Jacob will love it. Um, navigation is, is we just take, have a word, we highlight it, and then we point to file or click to link. We haven't done any external navigation for our site, but we're going to be able to do that. The other thing that we're going to take a look at doing is going to be a spry menu bar. Okay? Typically, all we've done before is we have a word, it's highlighted, you click on it, and it launches. So when you are done with your blooms and bulbs for Chapter 5, it's going to look like this. Does it look a little bit differently? Yeah. Okay. So what do you see going across the top? Your menu bar. Correct? It's not just words that are, are, that are linked. It's a bar. It is. It's a spry bar. So you would click on home. Notice when you click on it or mouse over it, what does it do? It Change colors. I can go to newsletter. You can see we have a newsletter here. We also have links on here. Very clever. Do you want, um, when you take a look at those links? Drop down arrow for plants. You know, drop down. What? Oh my God. So this is going to be what we're going to take a look at doing. So your tips page should already look like this when you're done with four as a hint, hint, in case you were wondering. And then we'll be adding um, this workshop page on later. So again, that's just a, a rundown of what we're going to be taking a look at doing within uh, Dreamweaver 5. Uh, we're going to work on external and internal links. Uh, we're going to create internal links to named anchors. We worked on name anchors before, where that's your drop down. And for example, when I take a look at newsletter, if I make this screen smaller and I click on um, plants, it's going to drop, drop down to that plants part of it. And again, it changes when I have my screen bigger because of the amount of space. Also, please notice what happens with my text when I have my window expanded all the way? It stretches to fit, correct? Take a look at my banner. Okay. Typically, most monitors are going to fit just the width of this banner, which is why the banner was designed to that width. If, you're gonna, if you were to view this on, um, in the LMC on a typical monitor size, you will see that this banner will just fit. You're not going to have to scroll to the left or right. What would we end up having to do on uh, iDevice or smartphone? Scroll. We'd have to do some scrolling. Unless would this nav bar work really well on a handheld? No. Not so much because it's going to be harder. On the handheld, what would be easier would actually just be the text, which is, again, why sometimes we go through and we actually design a site two different ways, one for one type of device, one for another. And you can set up in the head section for it to determine uh, what page to load based on the operating system. So for example, if I'm on an Android phone, it would notice that I'm on an Android operating system and it would load one page versus another. You probably have seen that on some smart devices when you click on a website and it will give you a choice to continue to the full site or go to the mobile site. And again, all of that is coding based on the head section to say, based on your operating system, what type of site are you going to go ahead and publish. So again, just as a heads up, this is what we're going to be working towards. I do know that we still need a little bit of time on four, but I want to do a little bit of teaching and then you'll have some work time today. Sound good? Okay. Dreamweaver should be launched and please have the striped umbrella open. Four 
four, Dreamweaver chapter five. What I want you to do right now is let's go ahead and on in Photoshop. We're gonna go to file, open. And then from your data source, from chapter five, we are going to open up DW51, okay? So we're opening up from chapter five, DW5-1. Should look like this. Once you have that open, the next thing we need to do is do a file save as. And then in your striped umbrella folder, we're going to save it as activities. So it's already there. So all I have to do is click on activities and then click on save. The file already exists. Would you like to override it? Yes. Update links? No. The next thing that I need you to do is we need to go ahead and attach our CSS. Do you remember how to do that? What one is it? I have to see that. Activities. In that, do I have activities? I saved it all. That's why you need to start with me, Miss Blum. Okay. I just can't remember. Did I go under my file? It's always under striped umbrella. Now, here's my striped umbrella page. I need to attach our style sheet to it. Do you remember how to do that? The little link. The little link. So, when we look here, right up here, I'm going to look at my CSS menu. Nothing is showing up here, so what I need to do is I need to actually link to it. So I'm going to click on that little link icon on the right hand side. And when I click on that, it's going to say what file, and it automatically knows because there is only one CSS file within our striped umbrella folder, correct? So all I have to do is I need to make sure it says link, not import, and click on OK. Now, I'm going to highlight all of my body, of my, my text, and then I'm going to go under Properties, CSS, and I'm going to apply my body text rule. Okay, so we attach the style sheet, we apply to a style sheet rule to it. The next thing that I want to do is I need to get my images, okay? So I'm going to select the image in the upper left-hand corner, and I'm going to browse for file, and the one I need to find in Dreamweaver Chapter 5, Assets, uh, Heron Waiting Small, Heron Waiting Small, I'm going to select, and then click on OK. When I do that, sometimes it takes a second, it should update and then it should also be then in your Assets panel, or your Assets folder. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. We'll do the same thing to the picture on the right. But the picture on the right is going to be two dolphins small. So have your picture selected and then browse for file. Dolphin what? Two dolphins small. You find it in Chapter 5 Assets. Once you find it, you click on OK and then I really don't know what happened. It replaced both of mine. Did it do that for you too? I clicked it on do and then it went back. How's that for a little quirky? Let's go ahead and save this. Okay, we're gonna make a hyperlink. So I'm gonna scroll down so I can find this paragraph right here that says the famous blue angels. Okay, and you find this paragraph right here that says the famous Blue Angels, the nation's oldest flying acrobatic team. We're going to highlight Blue Angels. Okay, now we are going to make a link for my Blue Angels. 
okay? I need to, on the very bottom of my properties panel, I need to switch from CSS back to HTML. And now my link. Now I have to type in a full URL, including the HTTP. So I have to type in HTTP colon slash slash www.blueangels, one word, dot navy, dot mil, dot mil again stands for military. And then you can hit enter and it just makes that link. If you don't have, if you didn't get the whole name and you're worried about spelling, I am finding that on page 5-7 for the URL for right here. And it's http colon slash slash www.blueangels.mi. Now, in the last paragraph, you're going to see a word that says USS Alabama. And we're going to link to that also. We have to type in the URL of HTTP colon slash slash ussalabama.com. Again, it is on page 5-7 in bold letters. After you type it in, hit enter. usalabama.com. U.S.S. Alabama, excuse me. Let's go ahead and save that page and let's preview that in browser to make sure it works. When you preview this in browser, what you should be able to do when mine finally loads is you should be able to click on that link for Blue Angels and it should take you to the Blue Angels website. Okay, and then click on back and then you want to go to the U.S.S. Alabama and you should check these are external links, so these links should be working. If it doesn't work, that means you've typed in the URL incorrectly. We have sound. Your favicon works now? On Chrome? On Firefox. Firefox, it will work. I'm still working on trying to get to work on Chrome. Okay, so were you able to get your external links to work? Yeah. Because you will have an assessment where you need to have external links and they need to be working correctly. Um, and so when you have your um, named anchors in for those items, they again will appear there. So we should have top name anchor, massages, facials, and body treatments. And then go ahead and save that page. Are you ready for the fun and easy part of linking this, Ashton? Ready to go? Thank you. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the word massages on the very top where below where it says the C Spa Services. And I am going to point to file for this. So, here's massages highlighted. I'm going to do point to file, but what am I going to point to? The so I'm going to point this file right here at that anchor. And that will link it to that spot on that page. Then I'm going to do facials. Now, to do body treatment, scroll down a little bit so you can see what you need to. I'll highlight body treatments, point to file, and then I just created a named anchor there. Let's go ahead and save that. Last thing we have to do is we don't have a link back to our top, so let's go all the way down to the very bottom very end so you can't go any lower do you see where you're at 
Okay, I am down below here. Now I want top of page to be at the left side. What do I need to do? Look at right here. And I look at my code. It tells me I'm still within my ordered list. Do I really want to be in an ordered list anymore? No. No, so I have to take my ordered list off. So end my ordered list. Now, am I at the left margin yet? Are you there? If not, you would out indent to get it back at the left margin. I'm going to click on save because mine's being a little funny. I'm going to split my code. So now I'm right at the left margin. I'm going to type in the word top of page. So it's at the left margin. You may have to do outsource, uh, push it back to the left, um, or remove block quote. Try it twice. Then I'm going to highlight top of page, and what am I going to do? Point to file, but where am I going to point to file? Way up here. So what I'm doing is because it gets a little funny when you have to scroll and point to file, is I'm highlighting top of page, leaving that highlighted, and now I am scrolling up so I can see that named anchor, and then I'm going to point to top. And now top of page is now linked to the top. Save that. F12 it. Now, will it work right away or should you make your browser window smaller? Make it smaller so you can see some scrolling. Yep, hang on. I'll help you. So you click on massages. It probably won't jump too much. Click on facials. Click on body treatments. And then top of page should take you back up to the top. That is section two for chapter five. And that's all the further I'm going today. Um, so we'll, we'll have the rest of the hour for you to work on some more stuff in chapter four.